What's up everybody? Today we're going to get a couple of the projects that we started out of the way. So we're going to finish building that sand dome as well as the nether road. So I'm going to do that real fast and I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed that montage. I'm actually really proud of it. I think that's probably one of the better ones so far. So yeah, we finished the nether road as well as finished building this thing. Well, finished. We still got to put some like walls up in the middle. Not to mention, I didn't really include it in the montage, but we actually got the whole inside scrubbed down. Um, so all the kelp is like out of there, all the seagrass scrubbed down. It's like we cleaned the monument off. <laughs> In a, in a weird sort of way. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. Um, surrounded in the sand and also has the kelp cleared away. So all we need to do is build up. So as you can see, all we need to do is build up the sand kind of barricades and then start sponging everything. Clear out the water. Um, yeah, we took a lot of damage on the armor. We actually had to repair everything. The helmet's still damaged because I had to repair it t um, once already like a lot earlier. So yeah, we finished over there. We also got the nether road done and I did a little bit of extra mining off camera. So look at this, two stacks and 36 blocks. That's enough to get the beacon powered all the way up. So we should be able to get haste two. And speaking of haste two, we also need to, well, I don't know if I'm gonna do this yet, but on one of our pickaxes, either the fortune or a silk touch, probably silk touch, not entirely decided. We've got to throw another efficiency on so, so that we get efficiency 5. Um, I'm not going to do that right now just because it would waste a little bit of durability. But I'm sure you guys know efficiency 5 plus haste 2 beacon. Very good combo for um, insta mining blocks. So we definitely want to do that. It's going to help us clear the monument way faster. Alright, so I already grabbed the sand out of here. We're going to grab some sponges as well. And we're going to start working on doing those layers. In. So I was actually wondering what everyone thought of the Slay the Spire. It's a game that I play quite a lot. Um, I think it's really fun. And I'm considering doing some more videos over it, but I'm not exactly sure if I should. Because I, I know the Minecraft videos are really easy to kind of be creative about and just 
build stuff like montages, actual building in game and stuff like that. Um, but to say the spire ones are a bit trickier, at least in terms of like the creative standpoint, like it's mo it's it's a lot more of me just playing the game, right? Whereas when I play Minecraft, it's more like, oh, we're gonna do this, and then gets a bunch of stuff done, and then you kind of skip along and you just see the progress updates. And it's a, it's a bit more of a creative process, I think, to make a Minecraft video than just a Slay the Spire video. So I'm not exactly sure how many of them I would want to do, because I do really enjoy like the fancy edits, like quote-unquote fancy edits, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Slay the Spire is a really fun game. I play it a lot anyway, so I was thinking maybe I should just record a few more of them. Um, so if that's something you want to see, definitely let me know in the comments. If it's something you don't want to see, let me know in the comments too. In fact, everybody, if you're watching this, just leave a comment. I love responding to comments. They always make me happy. Unless they don't, in which case they don't. <laughs> but yeah, if you're watching the video, please leave a comment. And I'll definitely respond to you very soon. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Guys, I don't know if we're actually going to have enough sand for all of this. But <laughs> we're <laughs> not exactly close to the end. <laughs> so <laughs> probably going to have to go get some more sand. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big fan of sleeping. I've never been very good at sleeping. I've always had it, like, found it pretty rough to actually fall asleep. And I gotta say, the, the YouTube videos are not making that much better. Because I'm always like, oh, I want to make a video, or oh, I want to edit a video. But meanwhile, it's like, it becomes 12, and then I'm like, oh, crap. I should, I should hurry and edit this before I forget what I'm supposed to do. Start editing, and then it's like 1, and then I'm like, oh, no, I really need to go to sleep. And then, like, before I know it, like, most of the night's gone, and I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> I overdid it. But it's hard because I'm not a very good sleeper in the first place. And then these videos, I may not sound like it, but I actually really do enjoy making them a lot, even though I don't have the most enthusiastic tone all the time. Part of that's just because I'm really tired. Ah, look at that. Got pretty close to finishing, but... Definitely gonna need more sand. All right, so here's the basic idea, I think, of how this works. We drop the sponge, soaks up some water, and then we have to break the sponge, get it back. And I don't know how well this will work if we only put it on one side. Probably won't work very well at all. So we're actually probably just gonna have to go like down the line with sponges, essentially. Um, and I would need some other blocks for that. So we're gonna have to complete working on this later but once you get all these channels done like this and you start taking all the water out then it becomes a lot easier to actually break the blocks because the guardians won't be spawning in your face trying to kill you the whole time if all the water's cleared out and then once we've cleared away all the blocks we want to clear away all the water and like the whole section so that that way when we make our farm with like a couple water blocks in specific places um, they'll only spawn in those water blocks, and it'll be really efficient, really fast, and it'll be one of the best XP farms, as well as just general prismarine farms um, that you can possibly get in the game, which is pretty dang awesome. I'm looking forward to that, but still a little bit of ways away. We gotta get a lot of digging done, and a lot of placing, and a lot of sponging, and a lot of burning sponges. Well, not burning, but like drying same difference really this out guys this is our pro this is going to be our process of ouch this is going to be our process of eliminating the water just build a couple blocks of terracotta like this sponge some more blocks of terracotta sponge some more blocks of terracotta sponge these guardians are really annoying pretty straightforward you just place a few blocks I think that's three I'm not exactly sure if there's like a magic number just kind of winging it but yeah go just a few blocks place a sponge go a few more blocks place a sponge and then as you can see the water level has fallen quite a lot then you just drop lower and keep doing it 
But yeah, the sponges aren't perfect. And like, as you can see, there's like a little bit of irregularity there, but they're a pretty dang good solution. It's way better than filling this whole place up with blocks and, and then breaking them. Okay, so as you can see, this is like the limit of how far we can go until we finish off the wall. That being said, oops, we can still go further by um, just going down and breaking them. So I'm going to break these and then drop a level. And for some reason, these blocks are not floating up very quickly, which is a bit annoying, but not, not that big of a deal. And I, I want to try to make this a bit more efficient by placing them under the water. Oh, that looked like it worked, actually. Maybe not perfectly, but one, two, three. And that's working, but we're not getting everything, unfortunately. And these guys are doing a lot of damage. And melons, not the best food source, as it turns out. So what's interesting is it's working on one side, but not the other. I'm going to try doing just two here. Interesting. It didn't even clear that. Is there a reason that it's having such a hard time clearing these? All right, so something like that might be, I, I gotta be careful, I'm gonna die. These guys are dealing a lot of damage. But yeah, I think this is mostly gonna be trial and error till I figure out the best method. Um, if you place the sponges down, if you place them down very quickly like that, you, I think it's a better result, but it's hard to tell. Ah, right, see, like that was a waste of a couple of sponges because we didn't start at the corner. Yeah, you have to get both sides quick rather quickly and then you have to eliminate key water blocks, water source blocks. Otherwise it just doesn't do anything for you. Oof, this is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> this is not going very smoothly. Um, like if you clear half the water, it doesn't do anything because you're still left with the other half and then it just refills itself because that's kind of how water source blocks work. You gotta play some rapid fire kind of mode. Just get a bunch of them down really quick. And that's gonna be a bit of a pain. I'm just gonna go through and break all the things and then afterward I'll pick up all the items. Alright, so we used to have 38. I've got 37 right now which means I'm missing one somewhere. Exactly sure where but I am pretty sure that I'm missing one. Get out of here. There we go, 38. So it's not super even. Like, there's <laughs> random these. Oh wait, did I have 39? I must have. I know I didn't have 40s, so it's probably 39. Weird, I thought we had 38 for some reason. But as you can see, we cleared a lot of water, but it still has a ways to go in terms of improvement. So I'm going to have to furnace these and probably collect a little bit more sand. Okay, thank you, dolphin. The dolphin's trying to get us to the sand quicker. What a nice guy. Ooh, boat. Let's check this out real quick. All right, chest. One diamond, not bad. Some iron and iron nuggets. Cool. Any other chests? Usually they have more than just like one, but there we go. Buried treasure map. I probably won't. I mean, it depends on if we're close to it already, then. Actually, let me get that out of my offhand so I can see better. Um, so we need to go south and east. Let's get the east bit out of the way. I'm just kind of move over this. Okay, so we need to go very much. Whoa, is that lava? No, it's just a cave. Okay. We need to go this direction, s south and east. So we'll probably cross the water somewhere around here. Last time I went to one of these, I didn't actually have the mic on, and I got it on like first try. So that was super cool. Maybe I'll include that clip. I think I still have it.
So let's hope this one is lucky, is as lucky and painless as that one was, because that was super nice. Okay, we need to go straight, straight up south. There we go. Very close, very close. It's just off the coast. Should have brought more food. That was a big mistake. All right, so it looks like it is over here somewhere. The buried treasure. It's like right around here. All right, I'm gonna guess right here. Hey, look at that, right on top of it again. The master at finding chests. And that's actually fantastic, because it had some food in it, and we, <laughs> we were just running low. Actually, I'm curious, do husks transform into... Do husks transform into drowns? Because I know zombies do. But I don't know if husks do. I'm just going to watch these. Oh! Oh, weird! Husks transform into zombies? I didn't know that. And then the zombies will transform into drowns, I assume. That's so weird. But zombies can't dry out into husks, I don't think. So it's just a husk into zombie. Let's wait for them to transform into zombies and then... Or drowns and then kill them and try to get gold ingots. I had no idea that husks transform into zombies. If they were in the water long enough guess it kind of makes sense. Like, the husks are supposed to be dried out zombies. There we go. Transformed. Are they going to drop any gold? Nope. It's pretty rare. But sometimes the drowns just drop gold ingots for no good reason. Well, cool. We got the treasure out of the way. That was treasure map number four. Um, I think we've seen treasure map number one, but I haven't actually found the treasure from it. And yeah, last time we, we got treasure map number three, the treasure for that, of the clips that I included. That was treasure map number three. And that's also two for two. And like, getting like directly on top of the chest just from the map. So, pretty good record. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag, but that's pretty good. Landing like directly on the chest both times. So I'm going to collect some sand, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I don't want to die here. That would be the ideal situation, is that I don't die. Let's just put a block up so that I can break some of these sponges. Alright, not bad, not bad. We're going to have to dry these out. We need. It would be really helpful if we had more sponges at our disposal. Nope. Ah, dang it. I don't want to take damage on my armor if there's no reason to take damage. Oh, these guardians are annoying. Ay, yay, yay. Alright, let me get up here. If I get out of their range, that'll work. Just clear these sponges. I'll just run around and pick them up afterward. Alright, there's a couple. Just try to finish, finish these off. It's like parkour map that I just created for myself. Ah, I'm gonna have to delete these blocks too. Very nice. <laughs> I'm not sure how much of the problem I'm actually solving here. Oh man. I need a better process. This is obviously not the most efficient way to do it. <laughs> I know I could just look up watching someone else do it, but I feel like... I feel like I should only do that if I really have no idea. I should just struggle along until I find a better technique. Should be looking for two more sponges. There we go. We got them. So now we're just going to have to pull her out of here. Because unfortunately there's not enough water to actually go up. So we're going to have to break the pillar to get down. Build the pillar to get up. And that'll have to work. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty good start. We've done, let's see, I'm not sure exactly how long this is, but that looks like maybe, I don't know, maybe a tenth of the way there. If we did ten more columns, we'd probably finish it up. And yeah, it's not the quickest process, but it's 
it sure is a lot quicker than placing a block on each single one of these and then mining it all so <clears throat> it's not the best process in the world I'm not going to complain about it though anyways that's probably going to have to do it for this episode thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day